Hi, this is John from the Fluid team, and I'm here to give you an updated tutorial on how to use Fluid. Fluid is a great app for using the internet in mixed reality, and now you can even do it with friends, which makes it even better. So, um, there are multiple ways of using Fluid. So there's controllers, you can use just your hands, and a keyboard and mouse. Um, so let's let's show you first how to use it with controllers. So when you pick up your controllers and you pull the trigger, it should switch to that hand. And if you pull it on your left hand, it'll switch to your left and right hand on right. So to move a window, you can use the grip button on the side of the controller here. Just grab window, move it around. You can use the thumbstick to, this thumbstick right here, to scroll it uh, closer and farther from you. And uh, you can also grab from the top of the window there with the, the front trigger and you click with the front trigger here. So for example, let's say I wanted to do a Google search here. I'm going to open my virtual keyboard, type in test, and type there, and I can scroll with thumbstick using controllers. I'm going to put those down. So it should, auto if you put them on a hard surface, they should automatically switch to your hands, but sometimes it doesn't. You can always double tap them together like that, and they'll switch off. So, I'm going to double pinch with my hand like this. So, if you ever need to switch to your hands or switch them off, you can just double pinch while looking at them. And to scroll in hands mode, you just kind of pinch and drag like this. All right. And to grab a window, you can either grab from the top like this and move it around. If you move your hand closer and farther from you, it'll move the window closer and farther from you in the room. And uh, you can also just grab it like this with one big hand grab. So I'm kind of grabbing it with my whole fist and uh, I can move windows around that really easily that way. So it's a little bit uh, quicker than trying to find the, the, the right spot right here. Um, and then you can type with your fingers too. So I'm going to turn my, I'm going to go into this uh, text area right here and then uh, type in, I don't know, hello. And so now, yeah, we have searched test hello. Okay, so let me hide this keyboard, and I'm going to put these controllers to the side, and I want to show you where Fluid gets really powerful, which is when we have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse connected. So I've actually already connected these to the headset, and you can see my mouse floating around here in space. If you click with the mouse wheel, you can put the, 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 the window in move mode, which basically will move it with your, with your mouse like this, so you can see my window's moving around. And then if you scroll, it'll get closer and farther from you. You can also click at the top here and scroll, and that'll make it get closer and farther from you. And we can always resize in any of the modes by dragging from the corners. So I can drag this window to be very tall and skinny. All right, let's add some more uh, windows to our scene. So this brings us to the dock here. So the dock controls kind of the world and also uh, the workspace. So we have a few buttons. One is this button right here. This is the unlock button. When you unlock it, you can see the lock is open now. I can just grab this and move it around. Oops, I accidentally clicked the button. Um, yeah, so you can just grab the stock and uh, put it kind of wherever you want. So I'm going to put it over here, like kind of right on my surface. And I'm going to lock it so that it stays there. And so now I can uh, push these buttons and, it's, and I can't move the dock anymore. So let me switch back to mouse mode. I want to push the new window button, and that opened a new window in my scene right here. Um, let's open another one. All right, so now I've got three windows here, and I'm kind of in this room. I can walk up to them. They're, they're fixed in space right here, so I can, uh, I can even go behind them, and it actually is invisible behind them. So if you ever lose your windows, uh, that's possible that you're looking at their backsides. We've added a, mo a, a gesture to Fluid, which kind of summons everything to you that I wanted to show you. So if you think that there are windows in your scene that you can't see for some reason, if you pinch with your left hand or you use the button on your left controller, it summons everything in front of you. So the dock moves and all the windows move, and then you can close those unwanted windows that were hiding in the space. So I'm going to move this back down here, right here. And then I'm going to lock it. I'm going to hit this button right here. So this is the environment or pass-through button. So it, you can see here, now we're in a different room. The room I was in is gone, and there's this pass-through window right here. This is used for your desk. So you can unlock it and just grab it with your hand like this, 
and put it where you want your uh, kind of pass-through window to be. And now I'm in this virtual space. I have my dock and I have my, uh, my keep bird pass-through and I can spawn windows in here. And I can put them way out there and make them really big. So this is really great for watching movies and that kind of thing. Right now we're in the cabin environment as we call it. We have other environments that you can switch between with this button here. I'm not gonna switch right now because it's, I, I want you to discover that. We also have a button here for switching the, the kind of out, outside area uh, in the cabin. So you can try that. This is a nice dark one. Um, let's go ahead and let's open one of my favorite streaming websites. Let's open Disney Plus. So I'm gonna go to this button right here. It says more buttons. And I have this icon right here, which is Disney Plus. So these are our favorites. So the favorites are basically uh, kind of like um, your bookmarks or something like that. So you can actually change what these are. So I have Disney Plus right here. Um, it looks like I have uh, Discord and Reddit and uh, Xbox and Spotify and Twitter. Let's say I wanted to change one of these. Um, what I'm going to do, let me click more. And more and I'm going to go to our settings. So settings will open a new window in whatever window you have active. So I'm going to open settings. You can see it opened here and uh, let me just bring this closer to me so that you can see better. Um, okay so we have uh, these lists of websites here and if you notice this column here corresponds to this first row and if I push it again I get my second row. So these are kind of productivity apps I have setting set right now and these are kind of my um, entertainment apps. Um, and so let's say we wanted to change Twitter to Facebook. So I'm going to click in here. Oh. My keyboard is uh, not paired to my headset right now. <laughs> Let me do that real quick. All right. I think we should be good. So, so I did facebook.com. I'm going to click save. And right now it doesn't update right away. You have to recycle the, the buttons. But yeah, so now you can see here, if I push this button, it's going to open Facebook. All right. So let's uh, make some other changes. So I actually have, uh, this is called my, I have this workspace called Workspace 2. I'm going to delete one of these. Um, so basically you can create other workspaces. So I have this workspace that I'm in, which is called Workspace 2, but if I click Workspace 1, this is actually a, a pre-saved workspace that I had um, for watching YouTube or something like that. So uh, I can move, like right now I'm in Workspace, I think it's Workspace 1. I'm gonna move this window right here and then go back to our Workspace tabs and I'm gonna click back to Workspace 2, which was our Disney Plus one. Uh, and yeah, so we're back in Workspace 2. I can move this here, I can add another window. Maybe I'll put it there, and then I'm going to go back down to Workspace 1, switch, and you can see here we have the workspace that we had just set. We mo had moved that window there, and then if I go back to the one we were in before, you can see that there's the new window, and there's that window there. So basically, it allows you to set up your set up kind of like a, a configuration for a certain type of activity. Save it, maybe movie watching is one of them, and then you have another one for coding or another one for working on your writing, and then you can just switch between them very easily and then uh, pick up where you left off last time without kind of uh, worrying about it. This is also how it works when, if you sleep your headset or take, the, take it off or close the app, uh, when you start the app again, it's all gonna be back in your original workspace. And so those, those states are saved. And you can, there's a quick setting here or a quick button here. This button with, it looks like a table or an arch. It's actually a table. Um, it will open the, the workspaces part of settings, just a quick access for you. Um, there's other settings like mouse sensitivity, uh, so you can you can increase that or decrease it. We have other keyboard layouts, so right now I have French and English selected. You can swap between the ones that you have like uh, activated with Alt Shift, and you can see here as I do that, it switches between French and English. Um, and then uh, if you need to, like I said, if you need to connect your keyboard and mouse, this Bluetooth settings button will uh, allow you to quickly open that menu. And then we've got some other stuff, but um, for the most part, like you, you probably won't need these. If you encounter issues with the app, you might want to try deleting player preps or cache, but these are going to kind of clear out your settings and passwords and stuff. And so stay away from these if you don't know what you're doing or, or haven't asked us. Um, if you ever have any problems, we have a Discord. Um, 
So if you push the this button right here, it's uh, the 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 shortcut is discord.fluid.so. That will take you to our Discord, where we have a friendly community of people who can give you help. And uh, you know, these are people who are enthusiastic about working or using spatial computing in VR. And uh, also the developers, we hang out in there and uh, we do things like support. And if you, if you need to get help or you have some suggestions for features you'd like to see in the app, uh, you can get them there. Um, let me quickly open a YouTube video just so you can see something. So we also have stuff for kind of like optimizing the viewing or, or game playing experience. So I'm just going to quickly open a, uh, let's open a, a video from Linus Tech Tips. Um, I'm going to move this real quick. So let's say I wanted to watch this in full screen. If you click full we'll screen. We'll have Wi-Fi to do our homework. And that's a good thing? Great in my book. All right. So now this video is playing in, <coughs> excuse me, in full screen. I can move it out there, make it really big. Um, and then maybe I want to hide some of this stuff. So I might want to hide my hands so I can just double pinch and now my hands are hidden. They're still active. I can still actually like poke buttons and grab stuff. Um, but they're just hidden so that you don't need to, uh, see them if they're distracting you while you're watching stuff. You can always look at them and double pinch again to, uh, to bring it back. You can hide both of the desk pass through and the dock. So you can kind of like get to a situation where, it's just you and the movie or the game you're playing. Um, this app works really well with uh, Xbox Cloud. I'm going to leave pass through here. So you can, there's a button up here if you mouse over that exits the full screen. Um, so this app works really well with Xbox Cloud. Uh, you might want to hide your hands if you're using a controller and you don't want to like accidentally click and stuff if you're in hands mode. Um, so yeah, that, that about covers it. Um, please let us know what you think of the app. Uh, if you can give it a try, we'd love to have you uh, let us know uh, what you'd love to see in the app um, coming up in future versions. Um, there's one last thing, which I, I didn't get a chance to talk about in this video, but we have something here called Creator Join Room. Do you see that? So that actually is our multiplayer. So it allows you to join rooms with other people. You get put in a voice call, uh, together and then you actually have a big window like this that is shared between all of you that allows you to watch youtube videos together and stuff like that so yeah uh really great for people that collaborate with other people who aren't in the same uh, location as them or people with long distance relationships or family members that live far apart it's a really nice way to connect with each other all right this has been your updated tutorial on how to use fluid and uh, I hope that wherever you are, you're having a great day. And I'm excited to uh, keep working on the app uh, with my team and uh, making it better for you all. Be nice to each other. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.